Welcome back to the channel everyone. It's a beautiful sunny day today and I'm sending you all a big big hello from Punta Fuego, Batangas. We are away on vacation taking advantage of the last few rain-free weeks of June. Our long, hot and rainless quote-unquote summer days are almost over as we welcome the rainy season. I couldn't pass up the chance to test out this Montal fragrances I hold end of last year. I have them all here in 20ml travel sprays. Montal and Mancera fragrances are known to be beast mode fragrances, loud, strong, and unapologetic. A lot of these fragrances are best suited for the colder seasons. But I heard from a few fragrance reviewers that some Montals are best for summer. I picked three travel sprays and I'm throwing in a Mancera fragrance as I have a small decant. Gifted to me by lovely Leonella all the way from the UAE. A big shout out to lovely Leonella and thank you again for sending over a handful of decants that I can play around with. So, well, if you're curious to know whether this Montals and Mancera are warm weather and tropical climate approved, then please stay tuned. First up is Mango Manga. It's a mango and oud fragrance, originally released in 2005 as a limited edition in Japan. Now I get why this is called Mango Manga, Japan being anime and manga's birth country. Fun fact, our local name for mango is Manga. Anyway, this fragrance was re-released in 2010, distributed on a wider market. This fragrance is very synthetic smelling from opening to dry down. Well, I wasn't surprised because Montals have a synthetic undertone about them. Here it is a little bit more pronounced and by that I mean this smells a little bit more plasticky than the other Montals I've smelled. The mango isn't a fresh, fleshy, ripened one. Here it smells of processed mango, dried instead of something like fresh mango juice or mango puree smell. This smells of dried, semi-ripened mango retaining a little bit of the tartness rather than the really sweet, ripe one. Hence, this isn't an all-too-sweet scent to me. There is definitely some sweetness, more fruity sweetness than say vanilla to my nose. But it isn't all-out sweet which makes this very unisex smelling to me. There is no creaminess typical of a lot of mango-forward perfumes I've smelled so far. A man can totally pull this off if he's into tropical, fruity perfumes for summer holidays perhaps. The oud doesn't come through much. It is subtle and barely there. It is not a very strong animalic oud. More woodiness come through reminiscent of some woody man's fragrance than the signature animalic oud on my skin. The florals are pretty much non-existent to my nose. More reasons why this will appeal to both men and women. Being a Montal, this is potent. Three to four sprays are all I need for the warm, humid weather of the Philippines. The three to four sprays will stay on for about eight hours on skin, much fainter the longer this stays on, of course. Projection is strong. This will fill a room with three to four sprays. Overall, rating this perfume a 4.5 over 10. Not a fan of this one. You're not missing out at all if you've never sniffed or tried this perfume. Save yourself the trouble. There are other infinitely better mango fragrances out there, more realistic smelling and creamier and lovely to wear for both men and women. My big disclaimer is that because I grew up around fresh smelling from mangoes, one of the best in the world in my honest opinion, my expectation of a mango scent is probably on a whole different level. So that's that. As a tropical climate fragrance, I think the plasticky smell is made more pronounced by the heat and humidity such that this smells more synthetic than it should probably be. So nope, I don't think this is a good fit for our weather. However, if you live in areas where summer days are fairly forgiving, then this might be a perfume to check out. This, however, Ever is a big big pass for me and my least favorite among the three Montals I have here today. I've heard about this fragrance from way way back before I started my channel, mostly from male fragrance reviewers and they did say that tropical wood is very unisex. I however heard from curly fragrance that this is more feminine so I picked it up to try. This is again oud, but also has fresh passion fruit, pineapple, bergamot, Bulgarian rose, violet, leather, white mask, and Madagascar vanilla. This fragrance is supposed to convey the summer mood. In the opening, you get fruits. To my nose, pineapple comes through more than passion fruit. I know others get more passion fruit here. It is a pleasant kind of fruitiness and the overall freshness is likely also coming from the bergamot. Again, the oud is not too present to me in the opening but becomes stronger and little more present as this fragrance dries down, but just a little. So does the leather note which is there but definitely in the background. The rose comes through quite well in this. It is not a very dark rose. It has some sweetness. It is musky but definitely fresher than say the rose in Intense Cafe by the same brand Montal. To me, this lifts the fragrance and rounds it out and makes this 
very wearable for the ladies. As this tries down a uh, dough, the rose fades out and in comes the masculine leather and oud. Overall, the dry down smells to me more like something a man would wear and enjoy. In terms of potency and projection and lasting power, this is Montal written all over it. You won't be disappointed. I am rating this perfume a 6 over 10. Not an all too average smelling perfume to me. I mean, how many oud fragrances can smell this fresh and wearable? But then again, this isn't something I would choose to wear out of the many others to choose from. I mean, Dior's La Col Noir is an oud rose I enjoy for the warm weather and that is higher up in ranks versus this one. But I think this is one to try from among the fresher Montals. I have nothing against this fragrance, just not my preference. For tropical weather, wear this outdoors and keep to about 3 to 4 sprays tops. This will choke out the people around you in closed venues. Dark Purple is my favorite among the three Montals I have today in my mind. This is the Intense Cafe for Summer. Intense Cafe or Ristretto Intense Cafe is FYI totally up my alley. The rose here is similar to that in Intense Cafe but instead of coffee, we have plum orange and red berries to go with it and instead of a deep dark jammy rose geranium is added for a fresher fruitier lemony rosy dimension to the fragrance such that this comes across softer and less dense the vanilla is also much tamer and toned down for warm weather unlike the deep rich vanilla in intense cafe I would still never wear this in high heat but for the usual 26 to 27 degrees Celsius average local temperature, this would be wearable. Far more wearable than, of course, Intense Cafe itself. Again, 3 to 4 sprays tops. Even 2 sprays is enough for me sometimes and this right here, despite seemingly being lighter, is a beast. These last more than 12 hours on my skin and hair and clothes and even after a quick shower, this leaves a trace on skin. And projection is enormous. Even one little spray can fill a little room. If you love Intense Cafe or Ristretto Intense Cafe but cannot seem to make those fragrances work for you because they are either too dense or too heavy or they choke you out, give this one a try. This just might surprise you. This retained that sexy girl vibe of Intense Cafe so this will be great for going out at night and date nights but not on first dates please. This one is a keeper for me although I'm not getting a bigger bottle because this isn't an everyday fragrance and at 2 to 4 sprays this 20ml will go a long long way. This is an 8 over 10 for me, a lot less synthetic smelling than either tropical wood or mango manga. Finally, the add one out. One that's been hyped up about a year or so ago has been called a sexy summer superstar by some reviewers and the most requested one from among my subscribers and viewers, Mancera's Wood Lemon Mint. Right off the bat, this is probably the most masculine smelling in the lot. Unisex but definitely leans masculine to my nose. Having said that, I know a lot of women who own and wear this fragrance and I can understand why. This is a fresh fragrance with a warm undertone. It is aromatic with sweet nuances underneath that's going to appeal to the male as well as the female crowd. The duality of it all makes this universally appealing and wearable year-round in absolutely any weather conditions. Perhaps not the dead of winter but that's just an exception I can think of. This is very versatile, you can dress this up or down. This is citruses on top along with pepper and coriander that's probably giving this an aromatic minty fresh quality but then the warmth of almond balances it out. And then there's the inviting womanly sense of amber and vanilla but mingling with the manly sense of leather, vetiver, wood, and musk. This whole polarity or duality of fresh yet warm and cozy, of sweet yet manly makes for a very appealing fragrance and yet not too designer mainstream. Personally, not my kind of perfume but I appreciate it for what it is. This is an 8 over 10 for me but I would love to smell this more on a man. For the high heat... Hmm, perhaps one to two sprays will do and not when you are to sweat like crazy. In local weather, wear outdoors. For indoors, be mindful of the sprays. Honestly, one big spray could be too much and especially for when the venue is cramped or crowded or small. Performance is definitely beast mode. Longevity, projection, this is a freshy but loud and long lasting so that's a big pro. I asked my husband if he's one to wear this fragrance. His answer is a big no. For reference, he's gone through a few refills of BR540 travel spray. He wears F Fabulous and Tuscan leather from Tom Ford. He likes Moschino Toy Boy a lot. His freshies include Johnny Varvatos and Hermes H24. This, no matter how hyped this has been or still is, this isn't up his alley. 
that's four fragrances right there and overall i think montal and manceras are not tropical climate friendly brands with very few exceptions you do have to make an effort for a lot of them to work at least in my experience testing this out in local weather you can't and won't overspray this one little tiny spray goes a long long way the woody woody undertone the synthetic undertone is something that our tropical climate noses may not be attuned to so this are not exactly going to be very appealing to the people around who can smell us. I haven't exactly worn any of these to a gathering. My little family didn't like them in the first place, so more so the people I meet in the places I frequent. I wouldn't dare wear any of these to work, most inappropriate for the kind of work that I do. I know many of you have only good things to say about these perfumes. For my place in the globe, I don't think these fragrances and these brands are all too appropriate. And with that, I thank you all for watching and thank you for visiting my channel. I hope you liked today's video and if you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up so I know you like my content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already and turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. Don't forget to share your thoughts and comments and questions in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from all of you. Stay safe everyone, smell your absolute best and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!